Madam Speaker, I find it ironic that every time there's a proposal to raise taxes on businesses, there's a proposal to increase tax and credits incentives as well. It is recognized that the state is unaffordable and an admission that it is unattractive to business, so the legislature will lose taxpayer dollars. There's not a single tax credit that has been proven to create a bigger loss for the state than film credits. Numerous studies in various states have found that they lose around 80 cents on a dollar, sometimes more. South Carolina, Madam Speaker, found it lost 81 cents on the dollar in film tax credits. Pennsylvania lost 79 cents on the dollar, and Massachusetts lost 88 cents on the dollar. In an era where our new Democratic governor is pushing bills to increase taxes on business, the adamant support of film tax credits is questionable at best. Madam Speaker, states invariably lose money when giving out tax film credits, and state, the state cannot afford any loss in revenue without cutting spending. Moreover, previous tax film credits in Jersey and in other states are primarily used by corporations that use tax credits to lower their CBT, which Governor Murphy just lowered revenue projections by $175 million in the current fiscal year, FY18. Madam Speaker, this legislation explicitly allows film companies to sell their credits at discounted rates, financially benefiting both sides, while the taxpayer, quite frankly, gets screwed twice out of tax revenue, once from the film and second time from the corporation that buys the tax credit. The result of this legislation in Pennsylvania was that 99 percent of the tax credits intended for film companies ended up in the hands of non film companies. The majority should be appalled at how it is wasting taxpayer mon money with an economic philosophy that continues to strangle the state financially. 